we broadcast the moon on the back of our dance floor and it was so cool it was just like, like shooting a, stars and we turned this event space into something that meant something more than just that we made it our own We realized how many times our paths did cross, like our entire lives. We both grew up in Chicago. Our families were both super Italian and probably shopped at the same like Italian markets. We went to middle school together, high school. We met in theater department. We were actually in a bunch of plays together. Rico was, of course, always the lead of every single play. And I was like the ghost in the background with the cobwebs, you know, like singing to life, to life, la chayam, you know. 10 years later, he decides to post on Facebook, hey, I'm coming in from LA. If anyone wants to hang out, blah, 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 whatever. And I was like, oh, sure, yeah, he was cool. Maybe a little too cool for school. Maybe I'll give him a chance again. We ended up meeting up the day after Christmas in a bar full of Christmas lights. And as I say in my wedding vows, is that, you know, I didn't really know what was gonna hit me. I was kind of thrust into like, Mr. Christmas. I don't know if you guys know, Natale means Christmas in Italian. So technically, we're Mr. and Mrs. Christmas, but. <laughs> The engagement itself uh, was was pretty awesome. I brought all of her friends and family and everyone. I, I, we flew them all out to L.A. Pretty much almost had a heart attack. I said the words, oh my God, like 400 times. I just couldn't believe it. I felt like I was dreaming or something like that. Like I just look around and it felt like I was Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. I was like, and you were there and you were there. All of my favorite people in the world were all just like jam packed in my living room. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, this is the best <laughs> it was really cool. I definitely wouldn't change that for, for the world. It was awesome. <laughs> Our wedding theme was love, magic, and space. Love, of course, but magic to us, there's so much magic in, in the air, and we felt like there was a lot of magic at play and us getting together and us connecting and us having all of these intertwined webs throughout our entire life of knowing each other from living in the same places, shopping at the same stores and like almost connecting throughout all of these years and then finally, you know, actually having it happen and now have a family and like to me that is magic. So we had, you know, magicians there doing magic shows for everyone and the space and the universe and the cosmos and to have that placed as kind of a, a center theme for our, our wedding was, I think, amazing. The table where we sat at and all the bridesmaids and groomsmen was the sun, and then every other table was one of the planets, including Pluto. It's tough. Our relationship, yeah. we've had to weather many storms and try and be positive and like dig ourselves out. Yeah. of these holes and I think we do a pretty good job of it. We had a lot of loved ones pass away before. I mean, we, you know, my mom passed away and then my uncle who was my like, second father passed away. He got to have the special time with my mom and then like four months later she died and definitely pretty difficult and traumatizing and... But we tried to represent them. My sister, she gave us like little portraits of my mom and her her mom and yours was on your bouquet. Yeah. Yeah, nice and shots. mine I, I pinned right here which was awesome. They were like with us the whole time. And that also played into our theme of the universe and the cosmos. Like, you know, for us, what happens when you pass? Where does your energy go? We feel like it goes out into the cosmos, into the universe and, and stays there. So that played a very much a big part of why we chose that. <laughs> One of my mom's favorite songs was called El Soldado Namorado, beautiful Italian song. Our really good friend Luhan, he's got an incredible voice. Yeah, he's got a, a beautiful voice and he sang it at the wedding. All of my Italian relatives were like, wow! Yeah, everyone was like, wow. <laughs> but it was, it was a really nice touch that we, we had for the wedding to, to kind of, you know, if she was watching, she could hear her favorite song. <laughs> as soon as the dance floor hits, you're like, well, it is what it is, and it went how it went. Did I marry the person I wanted to marry? Yes. Okay, great. Let's dance. It, it goes
goes by so quickly. By the time you are dancing, you're like, wow, it's over. Like it's yeah. it's almost done. And like you don't you don't want it to end. You know, I think taking the time to really savor the moment and savor the the beauty of what's happening, getting to marry your your best friend and the, the love of your life, like that is where you know you want to you want to freeze time and you want to hold that moment for for as long as you possibly can. And so and so just remember that when you're going into it, like that is what's truly important. Look your 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 wife or your husband in the eyes and live there, live in that moment for a little bit because you know that's what you're going to remember.